In this video, I'll show you how to build a WhatsApp AI agent in NAM the easy way. Having wasted hours myself faffing around with the various approaches, in this tutorial, I'll show you the fastest way to get set up. By the end, you'll have a working agent you can customize to message customers, build a personal assistant, or just put your family group chat on autopilot. Let's go. So first thing I'm gonna do is create a rough outline of our workflow in NAN. We'll then go through and set up all the credentials, which is a really important step to get right with a WhatsApp AI agent. We'll then configure our agent and then test it and have some fun. So first thing I'm gonna do is add a trigger. So we'll type in WhatsApp and we're just gonna do an on message trigger. This just means whenever we send this WhatsApp number a chat, it's gonna trigger this workflow. We're gonna send that into an AI agent. We'll configure this and explain what's going on later. And then we're going to send a message back to the user. We're gonna jazz this up later. We can add tools, we can do lots of clever things, but at a very basic level, this is how pretty much every WhatsApp AI agent is gonna be set up. So the next thing we're gonna do is the most important step, which is setting up the credentials. So to set up our trigger, we're gonna double click on the trigger, create a new credential, and you'll see here that we need two things. We need a client ID and a client secret. In order to get those two things, we need to create an app on Meta, which only takes a couple of minutes, but it's very important that you watch this bit carefully because there's a few options where if you select the wrong option, you kind of can't go back and you'll have to create a new app. So I'm gonna drop a link in the description below, which is gonna take you to this page. This is where you can create an app in Meta. So we're gonna create a new app. I'll just go through this, walk you through it. So let's say NAN Intelligence V3. This bit is important. So if you click any of these options and then you continue, you can't go back. What we need to do is select other, click next, and then you're gonna select business. So we're gonna create the app. You need to pop in your password. Okay, and so we're gonna add the WhatsApp product to our app. Click continue. Okay, here we go. So the first thing we're gonna do is click app settings and basic. This is gonna take us to a page where we can copy and paste those two things we need. So we need the app ID, which we're gonna drop in as the client ID, and we need the app secret. So we're just gonna pop those in there, hit save, and that's our trigger all set up. Now, we need to go over to our action and set this up. And for whatever reason, the way we set up this one up is slightly different. So we're gonna create a new credential. For this one, we need an access token. So in order to get this one, we just need to click WhatsApp and go to the API setup. And then we're gonna be able to get our API access token. So we'll just click generate access token, click through, do all the things, perfect. And then that's given us our access token, which we can just copy and paste, drop in there. We need a business account ID, which you can see is down here. So we'll copy that, pop that in there, hit save. So that's the hard bit all done. Our credentials are all set up. Some of the tutorials I watched spent 20 minutes explaining that it doesn't need to be that hard. But there is one last thing that we need to configure before we can start playing around and testing our agent. And that's to add our phone number as a test number to our app so we can start messaging ourselves. So if you go back to the page where you just got your access token, if you scroll just below that token, you'll see there's an option here for selecting a test number and a recipient phone number. If you select that recipient number, you can click manage phone number list. And what I'd recommend is add your own phone number or a phone you've got access to. So I'm just gonna pop mine in, click next. You're gonna get a verification code. You're gonna need to enter that code in, click next. So with that done, I can now go back to NAN and we can start setting up a little test. So in order to test that our WhatsApp trigger and action are working properly, first we need to resolve this issue just by adding in our phone number, the one that we added onto the Meta app. This won't actually work now if I try and run it until we've set up the AI agent. So I'm actually gonna remove the agent first, get rid of this line. Now we can just test these independently and what we're gonna do is next we'll add that agent back in and set that up. So first I want to see whether our trigger is actually working. So I'm gonna execute this step. I've got a chat window open here with this phone number. So I'm just gonna say hello and let's see if it picks that event up. So we can see it's found that, so our trigger is working. Now I want to see if the action works. So I'm just gonna write a message in the text body and just execute this and it should appear on this window. There we go. So we know that our trigger and action is working correctly. We now can add back in our AI agent and start setting that up. So we'll add that, we'll drag that back there. I'm just gonna keep this really simple. We're gonna use the OpenAI chat model. OpenAI give you some free credits in NAN, so we don't need to worry about API keys or anything like that just yet. 
For memory, I'm going to add some simple memory. The reason why I want to do this is because say you have a conversation with a customer back and forth over a, you know, a couple of months, a couple of weeks, you want this AI agent to be able to recall previous messages. If the customer tells you some information, you, you don't want the AI agent to keep forgetting that. So we need to have memory so that the chat history gets stored somewhere so it can be retrieved. We're gonna run into a few issues here, but I'm gonna show you just so you can see and we'll talk through how to debug them. So let's just test our workflow and see what happens. So it's gonna wait for an event, say, hello. So as expected, we've ran into our first error. So I'm gonna click open node. Now, don't worry if this doesn't make any sense to you. It doesn't need to, and the solution is literally drag and drop. But I will explain what's going on here because I think it's useful to understand how the agent is trying to work. So basically this is having an error because it wants to have a, a unique ID to map all of the messages from a person to that person. So if you had 20 messages from a person, it knows that these messages correspond to this person. So we need to give it that unique ID, which we're gonna do in a moment. Really simple solution, but that's why it's having that issue. I do also, while we're here, want to just touch on this option as well, context window length. Basically, this is just saying how many of the past messages from a person do you want me to save? So currently, it's only remembering the last five things that a person sent. Now, this is important because say you're having an interaction with a customer and they're messaging you over several months, you want the AI agent to remember things that that person told them in the past. You don't want it to be kind of come across forgetful. So I'm gonna bump this up to 25 just because I, I think five feels a little bit too small, but it depends on your use case. Five might be fine, I would probably bump it up. So I'm gonna come back to that in just a second because we've got another error that makes more sense to fix first, which is with our AI agent. So if we click here, there's an error basically, we need to send a prompt to ChatGPT, OpenAI, and it's not getting our input correctly. So to fix this, I'm gonna select this drop down, click define below, and I'm simply just gonna drag in, click over here, drag the body of the message. So this is basically whatever I message in WhatsApp, we're just gonna drag it straight in here. So I should now be able to execute this, and once we fixed our memory issue, we should be good to go. So just to kind of get this out of the way quickly, I'm just gonna give this a random number. We are gonna change that. But this should now, if I just run a quick test, this should now actually work. Perfect. Now, the problem with me just giving it that random number is that now every message from every customer is gonna have that number. So I'm gonna go through and replace it by just dragging the contacts WA WhatsApp ID. I'm just gonna drag it in there and that should now work absolutely fine. Okay, so let's give this a test. Click execute workflow. If I send it a message, hello. We should now see that gets sent to the AI agent, stored memory, and it sends a message back. So we now have a working WhatsApp AI agent, albeit a very simple one. Now we can do a few things that you will likely need to do if you're actually building an AI agent for WhatsApp to jazz this up and give it a bit more functionality. So the first thing I'm gonna do is give it access to some tools. Now you can give it access to almost anything. This is basically giving it skills, things it can do to go and get data or figure things out. So you can give it access to the weather, you can give it access to a Google Drive, whatever you want. I'm gonna give it access to, let's say my YouTube account. So I can ask it questions about my YouTube account and it should be able to send me messages back. So I've already configured credentials, so I don't need to set that up. And I'm gonna say basically, go and get my last 25 videos. The next thing I'm gonna do is tweak the prompt. So at the moment, we're just sending the message that the person sends to the number straight into ChatGPT. We're not telling it what to do with that. So you could change this to whatever makes sense to you, but let's say, please provide an, a useful, actionable response. So that should be slightly better. So now I can go out of there. Now, if I ask it a question about my YouTube channel, it should be able to give me an answer. So let's see what it comes back with. If I ask, what was my latest video? So it's going to YouTube. Okay, it's come back saying, hello, Marcus. So I think I've forgotten to pass the response. Yeah, here we go. So I had hard coded it to hello, hello, Marcus. So we need to remove that and drag the AI agent output into the text body. So if I execute that now, there we go, that's better. Your latest video is how to connect Google Sheets to NAN in five minutes, which is correct. It's private, but it's correct. So now if I ask it, I don't even know if this is gonna work, but 
how many views has my HeyGen review got? I don't know if this is actually gonna work. Not bad. So there we've got working WhatsApp AI agent. If you'd like me to cover any specific use cases or WhatsApp actions, drop them in the comments below. I'll also download this and share the file in the description below along with a few other bits and pieces that might be useful. If you'd like to level up your NAN knowledge and build workflow automations like a pro, watch this.